Okay. Um, the course I'm talking about has four different numbers depending on which degree program you are in. I think you will be the second number, CS 435. The title is Software Requirements and Specifications. There are five people who teach this course. I'm just one of them. Okay, another one is over there. Okay, and the other th three are not here. Okay, so there are slight differences between the way the course is taught depending on who's talking about it. So I'm trying to give a general view. Okay, now this course is one course of a set of three courses about the entire software development process. This course is about the requirement part of it. The second course is about the design and implementation of software that meets those requirements. The last of the courses is about enhancement and testing of programs that you've implemented to meet the requirement. So this is just one course of a set. Now, the term requirement specification consists of two words. The first word requirement is simply the desired goal or behavior of the software that you want. What you're trying to accomplish, what the client one, the customer one. The second word, but. Specification is a written description of the requirement. From this book, you'll be able to tell, can a software system help us accomplish these goals? And what would that software system do? Now. All of you have dealt with programming assignments in the various classes. Those are requirement specifications. Informal ones, but nevertheless requirement specifications. Now, why devote a whole course to this topic? Well, we've discovered that requirements are a lot more difficult than anybody ever expected to the point that 80 to 85 percent of all software errors that ever happen in software can be traced back to requirement error. In addition, we have learned that the cost to fix an error grows exponentially with the life cycle stage. So if you fix it during requirement time before you've implemented it, anything, it's the cheapest to fix. And that's where you get most of your errors anyway. Now, this course is different from any other course about software that you have or will take. All other courses deal with how to write the program right. That is, given a set of requirements, how do you make a program that meets those requirements. That's what you get graded on in your programming assignment. This course is the first and basically the only course that deals with writing the right program. That is, how do you determine the requirement for a program that solves your problem? So this way, after you've had this course combined with your other courses, you when you finally do write the program, you will be writing the right program right. Okay. This course introduces students to the requirement definition phase of software development. It discusses models, notations, and processes for software requirement identification, representation analysis, and validation. So it's about eliciting, discovering, inventing, documenting, 
violating the antigen and costing the requirement for a computer-based system. The various topics are things about requirement. Now, what you really want to know is how you get evaluated for the course. Okay, that's a fair question. Now, some instructors differ from this, but usually 40% of the course, the grade, will be about a course project and the assignment related to it. There'll be a midterm that counts 10%, and the final exam counts 50%. If you happen to be a graduate student, then you will have to do 10% more and the rest is scaled to 90%. Now, you must pass the final in order to pass the course. Some instructors don't bother with the midterm, in which case the project will be 50%. So it depends on your instructor. The project. In teams, you will write a requirement specification for some medium-sized system. Examples in the past have been a website, a DVD recorder, a bidirectional word processor, a dating site. There will be several assignments that exercise various techniques that are covered in the course. Each such assignment will contribute toward the project which will be, of course, the team written requirement specification. And that project will exercise the stuff that you will be learning in the lecture. Any questions? Thank you. <laughs>